Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. It is an early start for us today. As you can see, we are preparing people behind us. Anna is already up and dressed. Andy is up and dressed. I am up and dressed. It's only six minutes past eight. It's Anna's exam day today. And with it being half term, as we found out last week, during half term, the buses don't run. So we're taking her into uni so that she can go in, do her normal lesson things this morning. Huh? Um, apparently she could have got public transport, but the college bus isn't running, which is the one she normally gets, and she doesn't want to get, understandably, doesn't want to get the normal bus into town and then back out again, which it takes forever. So we're going to drive her in. She's got her exam this afternoon, so we're checking with her this afternoon to see how she gets on in the exam. What are you saying? Apparently she only had four hours sleep because she gets grumpy about noises. Um, <laughs> Yeah. I was snoring. I can't help snoring. She needs to stop letting it bother her. That's the obvious solution. Um, but we are going to go and do that. And then it's me and Andy together for the day because it's half term still. Um, so I've got my work done now. So me and Andy are just going to have a day doing me and Andy things. Which I don't really know what that entails yet. It's a day. It's so fun. Ah, there we go. We've arrived at Anna's uni. Village? Pretty much, I would say for at least half the journey for the last 10 minutes or so. He's just been saying Furniture Village over and over Curry's. and over again. Oh, it's Curry's, Curry's now, is it? Curry's. We don't know why. Why is he doing this? This is new. Because he's been up since four. Curry's. Yeah, but I don't understand. Are you, are you telling us where you want to go? Curry's. I think he's just enjoying the words. We're here, we're super early because there was no kids at school because of half term and stuff. I know, but we did leave a little later. I've been saying... Yeah, well, that's why we left later. Normally I would leave at like 8 to get her here. Well, when I used to come here, I used to get here for 8, for a 9 o'clock start. So I used to have to get the first coffee of the day to make sure it was good. How is PC World? Curry's PC, Curry's PC World. He'd be Curry's really good for a sponsored section. Curry's if Curry's or Curry's um, Furniture Village want to sponsor Curry's a video PC and just have Andy Curry's say it constantly in the background, Curry's PC then World. then it could be a good Curry's subliminal PC form of advertising. This is going to be my day now. <laughs> Andy, you <laughs> this was not the day for him to learn these new things. Simulator and it'll be fine. Yeah. But then I have to it's listen to Goat it's Simulator all day. That stupid noise that it does. Oh no, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, so I'm we're not going to be doing that. Volume 4 and it's just obnoxiously loud. It's 4. I can't even hear the TV at 4, but I could hear it from earphones. When did you think so? <laughs> it's obnoxious. I want to talk to these coffee stain people and go, did you do it on purpose? Coffee stain? Yeah, that's it, mate. Oh. I was going to say, I thought you were talking about the fact that I just spilt my coffee. And got toothpaste on your trousers. Oh yeah, these are the only clean trousers I've got for the weekend. I'll be sat on stage at Comic Con no, with toothpaste trousers. Just, oh my god, put them in the wash! I haven't got time now. Yes you do! This time tomorrow I'll be gone. No you won't! I'll be going. No you won't! I'll be ready. I'll be no, sat by the door waiting for you to come home. Why are you picking me up? So yeah, we're going to drop we're gonna drop you off with all my stuff in the back of the car and then just wait here for you to come out. You're not waiting six hours. I've got we'll bring a uh, checkers board with us. Drafts. Not checkers. It's not called checkers. Say college is not open, not nursery's open. Yeah, well I imagine nurseries have to be open. Anyway, we're going to leave Anna to it. Good luck in your exam today, Anna. Everybody say good luck I'm to Anna down, down in the chat. I just said good luck. Yeah, but you don't believe in it. Oh, I hate it when people wish me good luck. It annoys me. If, if someone says good luck to me, my response is always, what do you think I need luck? That's, not very nice. Tea I see. I find it an nice insult. Seat. If you're good, you don't need luck. But I'm people, but people like to hear good luck. So Every I've learned. I've so I've learned to be polite and say good luck, even though, <laughs> even though what I want to say is, village. I hope you're well prepared. No, <laughs> I have you and him. Good luck. Furniture village. Mm. Well, we've just had a very productive trip to Tesco that I couldn't film, unfortunately, because it's just me and Andy in there, and it's impossible to watch him pushing a trolley and not crashing into people and get through the till yeah. with him there and film it all at the same time but he pushed the trolley around the whole shop he was picking stuff off stuff up off the shelves that we needed and then when we got to the till we did the self checkout he scanned everything um, pressed all the buttons on the thing was looking for the barcodes on the things that we were buying passing it to me to pack it was the most cooperative I've ever seen him in a supermarket we're going home in a second 
um, they've been doing that at school every week they go to Tesco and just have practice going to school and you can see how much impact that work is having because that he was so well behaved in there up and down every aisle which he's always hated in the past and uh, yeah very productive trip all this independent living stuff we're building on this week it's awesome where are we going now well after our little trip to Tesco we've been home a good three or four hours I've edited the vlog I've done a few little admin bits sat around a bit we've had quite a nice relaxed chilled day Anna is just about to go into her exam in seven minutes time um, which means we need to leave here in about an hour's time to pick her up so Andy having had behaved all day as instructions is now that was a worst sentence I've ever said. Because he's behaved well, this was the bargain we made. Um, he gets the next hour playing Goat Simulator that he was playing yesterday. So he's gonna play this for a little bit while I just sort out a thumbnail and stuff on today's vlog and today's Football Manager video. But it's been, uh, just looking after kids luck. Easy peasy. Well, we've arrived at Annie's uni. It is absolutely throwing it down with rain. Andy is lying across the back seat playing on his DS. And I think Anna is on her way. We'll see how she got on in this exam. Up, baby boy. I am. It's a yeah, weird thing no, for you to call me. Yeah. I am. It's a weird thing to call me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about you. I care about Rue. How dare you. More come. He can drive you home. Alright, come on, move. Yes. Yes. How was your exam? Yeah. Let's go home, Dad. Tell us. We'll go home in a minute. We have to see how Mummy got on her exam. Was it good? You passed with flying colours? Well, I don't know. Yeah, but you never think you have. One. I didn't answer because it's hard as not to. Okay. One, I didn't answer because I had no idea. You should always just guess. I, c I couldn't tell you what it just was. Just write about meringue or something. Not you a chance, know. not a clue. And then one, I know I got wrong because I, I was remembering the wrong thing. Well, as long as it was considerably more than three questions, then that's right. <laughs> it was 21. Oh, well, there you go then. If you've messed up three questions out of 21, then you're good. Well, 20 because one they told us not to. That's still so. fine. I mean, if you've got the other 17 right, then you're I laughing. I think my spelling's going to come into it because uh, so I, because there's so many You technical. really should focus on the on the positive. I've been trying, because I texted Anna saying how did it go and she told me that she, she'd got one, she'd missed one out and hadn't done one and I'm thinking, oh, this isn't going to be good. I didn't realise there was another 17. Look at uh, it. The positives are, I knew the answer to 17 of the 20 questions. That's a huge positive. That's massive. I knew them in my head, but I couldn't spell them, and they're very technical. Uh, hopefully it'll be okay. You should get a scribe. Some some dyslexic students I've worked with in the past had a scribe for exams. I don't know how it works, though. You'd sit in a room by yourself and speak the answers uh, to someone while they wrote it down. Yeah, maybe. If, I, if it's genuinely causing an issue. If if after this exam, you haven't done well and it's only because of how you've spelt stuff, then you need to talk to the uni before your final exams and say, look, I know this stuff, mm. but it's my... Because if they then refuse to be more accommodating, it then comes down to a but dis, then my, dis, my disability teachers discrimination know, thing. The ones who are doing it know about... Uh, have my thing. Mm. So. But... Has there any post come? No. It's, it's a physical against... Um, invisible disability thing because if I chopped off both your arms now mm. are they going to sit you in front of a pen and paper for your next exam? No they had no lines or anything. I goes is it line? He went no. I was like I told you. That. So they're not paying attention to your needs anyway but yeah if you physically couldn't hold a pen and physically couldn't write they wouldn't expect you to do it so if because of uh, because of dyslexia you can't write I didn't see how this is the bee I get in my bonnet about invisible disabilities against physical disabilities because I, I don't, I don't, I I don't want to say Physi people with physical disabilities have got it so easy. That's not what oh, I'm saying. No. But obviously it can be like banging your head against a brick wall trying to get anybody to well, yeah, in accommodate school, invisible I, disabilities the same way they do physical ones. I had problems in school for all my school life and it was never picked up until I left school. Mm. And I went to the job centre. I was like, the, I can't do these things because it's stopping me. But I got to you. Well, let's see how you get on. Hopefully, you've smashed it. I've got to do my ethics and risk You're assessment. You're always doing ethics and risk assessments. <sighs> Sad yeah. meeting today. Apparently, I need to write it as if they have no idea what any 
the subject is. Oh, well, then write it for me. They were sorted. Because I have no idea what the subject is. But I need is. to do that by this time next week. So Easy peasy. I'll have to put my game to one side. And but it's not arrived, so you don't need to worry. I'm playing on She's waiting for the Outer Worlds to arrive. Mm -hmm. I've got it downloaded on Xbox already because it's included on Xbox Game Pass. But somebody's such a fangirl that she wants to play it on PlayStation and pay for it. Pay it's, for not, the no, it's not the fact that I'm fangirl. It's just the fact I prefer mm -hmm. playing on the PlayStation mm -hmm. because I like that controller. And I, I like having the pro. And but it's going to be there for free from midnight, and she'll no, refuse no, to play it and then good. pay for it tomorrow. Oh no! If it is out at midnight, I'll play it at midnight tonight. Okay. But then I'll play it on PlayStation tomorrow. But the thing is, Shop Two have messed up somehow because I paid for it on the tenth of September. I know I did. I've been checking it for a week, and it's been paid. And then last night, they've done something and put my money that I paid by PayPal into my account my credit account and said they hadn't paid and I was like well I have like I I know I have I have all the things but yeah let's not worry about shop two we're going to drive home it. now yeah. and on the way mm -hmm. show the exciting new Siri integration on Spotify mm -hmm. it's awesome mm -hmm. well we got home from uni in fact we didn't get home from uni we got home then went to Tesco so Anna could stock up on all of the stuff that she needs for the weekend while I'm down at Comic Con so we did a big shop and then we've come home and She's gone to bed. It's quarter yeah. to six. She's pooped. She got up super early this morning. She's obviously been super stressed out with the exam and stuff that's going on. And uh, yeah, she's gone to bed. So she's reckoned she's just going for an hour. We'll see if she gets up in an hour to have something to eat. I suspect she might not. So I might not be making this uh, this ramen after all. I'll just have toast or something if she's not going to be around to cook for. So we'll see how the evening develops. But there's a good chance you're going to have to wait a little longer to see me do some cooking. I keep promising cooking and things keep getting in the way, but leaving her to sleep, me and Andy just continuing to chill out down here. Yep, she is out for the night, I think, and Andy has just gone up too. So I guess I'll rummage in the fridge and find something to have for tea. And if you have, if you have enjoyed this vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching.